Hi everyone, this is one of the nicest things you can add to your gaming PC. It is easy to set up and you can customize it as much as you want. So let's get into it. Alright, one of the main resources for doing this is to get one of these small sensor panel displays. You can get it on Amazon, just type the sensor panel and you will get tons of results. In this case, mine is 7 inches with a touch screen. I get this on Amazon for 50 bucks, but you can get it also cheaper. Typically, these kind of displays have an HDMI port, as we can see here. So here we got the two Pro USB ports and the HDMI port. You have to connect the HDMI port to one of your three HDMI ports and the micro USB to a power supply or to another USB port that you have free on your system usually they came all the cables in the box so you don't have to buy other cables so you are ready to go and you have to download the ada64 app and the riva tuner statistics tablet we need that for the fps monitoring and so on now guys before going through the all the customization with ada64 and all the settings and all the sensor panels you have to do a couple of things otherwise you are going to see all the resolution and all the scaling up will be wrong so first of all let's go through the display settings and be sure that the scale is 100 percent don't change this and the display resolution is the resolution of your actual display that you have in my case i have a seven inch display which have this resolution 10 24 by 600 but you might have a different resolution check with the manufacturer of, of the display what is the resolution of your display and set it here usually windows will set it that uh, automatically so you don't have to change nothing but just in case double check that and the second thing you have to do you have to go through the folder of the program 864 and you have to find the application itself right click on that properties and then we are going to change the compatibility and the dpi settings so go through the change high dpi settings tick this flag here override high dpi scaling behavior by system so whenever you are going to open the settings in ada64 it's not going to change the resolution or the dpi scaling behavior because typically you are you're going to connect this display using an as a second display so windows will act in a strange way i don't know if that's 100 windows or ada64 they will change they, they're going to change how the application itself is going to scale the the image that you are going to put on on display so you have to check this one here for preventing those kind of strange behaviors even you are changing the same resolution and you are applying the same resolution once you restart ada64 there is going to have certain strange behavior with the scaling and so on so i recommend you guys to do this now you can customize in two ways this you can start from scratch and adding your sensors and adding whatever information you need on this or we can download some resources from the AIDA64 forum when we have some kind of templates when you can find and start from those templates and implementing on your system whatever you find useful those, those kind of templates those kind of sensor panels that other users are just developing on their system the thing is that you have to find the resolution for your monitor if you have if if the resolution that you have it's going to fit the resolution of those kind of templates before moving on with the rest of the settings in ada64 if you are new here please consider subscribing hit the like button and enable the notifications thanks a lot for your support so guys before going and customizing all the sensor panel adding our sensors the one that you want to see the most and etc we have to go through some settings in ada64 for preventing the sensor panel itself have strange behavior so let's move to preferences and go through the sensor panel submenu and here we have certain settings let's start with the first one which is easy show sensor panel or don't show the sensor panel keep the sensor panel the topmost windows always on the top this i would suggest you guys once you have finished all the settings and all the customization to leave it on now i will not enable this one prevent sensor panel from being minimized this is useful because if you want to minimize icons or if you want to minimize certain menus or if you want to minimize what you are doing on one display on the sensor panel display on a small display that you might have is not going to be minimized so you're always going to see all the sensors on that panel lock panel position this is again something that i would suggest you to enable once you have finished all your customizations the lock panel size is useful and you you should have that enabled always because it's going to lock the panel size that we have here so it's not going to is not going to change the panel size depending on what you're going to on the items you're going to add or not enable contact text menu is simple it's basically when you right click on the sensor panel it's going to show the menu that so i will of course recommend this to be always on and on the sensor panel background color you can choose different colors usually i leave black because it's the easiest one to change icons and whatever else the sensor panel transparency this is useful if you want to have a kind of transparency the sensor panel size is the size of your panel or on your small monitor that you 
ha are using as a, as a sensor panel size. You should know exactly what is the sensor panel size. In this case, mine is 10, 20, or 60 pixels. This, in this case, this is the resolution of the monitor. Usually, the sensor panel size corresponds on the resolution of the monitor that you are using. So once you have set all these stuffs, let's click on OK, and then here we have our sensor panel. For customizing it and for adding items here, you have to right click on this black area here and click on new and then from here you can add sensors and whatever you want to add we have different items we have a sensor item simple sensor item static label image graph and gout let's start with a sensor item here you can choose whatever items you want we have tons of items here let's start for example with gpu temp let's say just type gpu here and we can see all the items related to the gpu the first one is the core temp and the second one is the hotspot and here we have also the memory temp the label here is what you are going to see on the monitor so let me click ok so as we can see here we have a simple name of the gpu and the temperature of the core you can change this by right clicking here and you can move it for example if you want to move it let's here more or less and then we can change this one by editing so let's click on modify and we can modify this item here for example let me change the sensor label i don't want to be gpu because i know the model of my gpu is the rtx 3090 trix oc here we got the name we can choose a bold one we can change the color of what we are seeing here i will leave it as it is but if you want for example let's say the fancy green from nvidia and then you can change the font name if you want we have tons of fonts so you can choose whatever font you like the most in this case i choose the geforce font then click on ok and so as we can see we have the name of the our gpu and the temp of the core this is the an, an easy information so let's go and check what other items we have let's move to the simple sensor item let's say for example here we want to see memory utilization and here we have the text size the font again and the style bold or color of this one you can leave it as it is or you can change and here we have the unit in this case of course i will leave it a percentage because i want to know how much memory i'm using simple and then you can and again here move this one let's say here for example now let's choose another item the static label it is here are some labels provided from ada64 i want to add the cpu model which is the it's going to show the cpu model so let's click ok and here we got the cpu model this is going to display only the names of certain items so if you want to, to know the temperature of the cpu you have to add another item which is the sensor item here and we have the cpu temp we want to know the cpu temp here we got the cpu package maybe and it maybe we will get an amd orange more or less here we have the value we have the unit that we are using and we have also the bar for showing the bar we have to click on show bar here and these are the default settings and the default sizes for the bar here this is something interesting because here you can decide which color to be showing depending on the temperature for example we know that the packages have a 100 degree maximum temp so let's start if the um, temperature is around 30 degrees the bar will be green the second limit let's say i want to see yellow when the cpu is around 50 degrees or 55 maybe and the second limit when it's orange so i will require my attention because it's being used and it's, the temperature is high let's say 675 and the red one which is going to start throttling the cpu is going to start throttling i will say 95 and the max of course is 100 degrees so let's me click on ok and then as we can see here we have the graphic here that is showing us actually in which range the temperature it is as we can see this is a cpu package we don't need that name let's going to change again no label we don't need that name because we have the, already the full name here so let me move this one and move it back here so let's add another item you can add an image here logos that you want to add to make it a little bit nicer you can add logos here and images here i will not add nothing at the moment so then another item you can add is a graphic for example let's say we want to know the fps graphics so let me look for that here we go with riva tuner statistic server speaking about the riva tuner statistic server i will recommend guys to leave it always open otherwise you have to open it every time because if you close it it's not going to show the fps so let's open the riva tuner statistic server and click on start with windows always on let's go through the setup and click on start minimize it so you don't have to minimize it every time and here we go so back to the settings on ada64 here we got the customization of our graph so you as we can see we have the graph colors we have the background frame grid whatever colors you need to change and of course the fonts and whatever else 
else I will choose as usual the GeForce font and I'm going to change it to 10 and here we go once you click OK here we have a simple graphic for letting you know from 0 to 100 usually I change these values on depending on how much FPS I want to reach or usually on how is the refresh rate of my monitor in, for example in my in this case I have a monitor of 144 Hertz so I will change the values here to 144 and that's it so as we can see here is going to measure the FPS of uh, our game when you are in game with this simple grid here you can choose the area graph and you can change the type here say whatever fits the best for your settings another item you can add is a gouge so in this case for example i want to know the clock of the cpu max value of course is 9000 but is 6000 maybe for the megahertz and again i'll leave it to this one the size medium and that's it so as we can see we have a gouge here see we can customize it you can choose a black one or white reverse and whatever else the black one probably is nicer and you can go crazy and you can add all the items that you want here now we can go crazy with all the customizations and add all all the items and all the sensors that you want this will require a lot of patience and a lot of say commitment because you will are going to customize it whatever you think that you might need but one of the easiest things you can do you can subscribe yourself to the ada 64 forums and you can take some inspiration from what other people are doing there and you can go get those templates and you can modify it and your needs so for adding one of those templates you have to press click on the, your sensor panel and you have to click on sensor panel manager and you have to click on import here eventually you will get this warning here in case you are okay with overwriting what you have already done then click yes otherwise click no and if you want to export what you have what you have done here so click on export and then you have to export all your settings so as we can see this is a simple one i have the time i have um, some temps and some frequency clocks for the gpu for the cpu the ram how much is being used the memory and the storage and the gpu vram Again, guys, you can go through those forums, you can download certain templates. Just be careful because you have to eventually resize depending on your display, on your sensor panel. You have to resize everything, starting from the background, starting from the icons, from all the information and so on. So also in that case, it will require a little bit of patience and a little bit of work and a little bit, again, of commitment because you have to go through a, a, a lot of settings. And if you want to have something like this, if that's it, you will have this sensor panel showing you really useful information that you might want to see not only in gaming but also you are if you are doing something else streaming or video editing or whatever else you are doing so you are going to see all those information in one place and you are going to have important information on how your computer is performing and if it's if there are issues or if, if something strange is happening so guys if you like this video on how to make your sensor panel and found it helpful please leave a thumbs up drop a comment subscribe to the channel and enable the notification bell thanks a lot for your support and thanks for watching watching.